guys, what's up? Uh, let me draw your attention for a little bit. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to draw Gizmo from Gremlins. It's just gonna be the head, it's gonna be a portrait style, and I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be for beginners, so it's gonna be step by step for beginners. So stick around, and you're gonna learn a lot, and we'll have some fun. So love Gremlins, I was a huge fan of that movie. Uh, this is a Faber Castell PITT -T artist pen. And you can just use pretty much any pen you want, but I'm gonna do this in layers. It's gonna be two layers. It's gonna be one for structure, and then the next one for detail. And uh, let's, let me draw your attention, like I said. Let's get into it, pay attention, let's go. So, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking of the structure first. And when you draw anything, you wanna think in stages. So, thinking in stages allows you to free up any part of your mind for kind of the current stage. If I am, doodling something and it is kind of very complex I can't just start with I could start with like right in the detail but when you start that you could uh, totally not think about proportion and it'll come out weird and you don't want to do that there's a few guys that can do that but it's super advanced what I recommend and even now currently I'm advanced but I still like doing this method where I go in and what I do is I find the structure first so I'm gonna go in with this marker and I'm gonna find the general shape of Gizmo's head. The structure of his head, I'm gonna use a square, because it's kind of it's kind of squared out like that. And he's got kind of Yoda's profile because his ear is again looks like a bat wing. And this is going to be under, this is underneath another layer, don't worry about it. I would say if I was to split this box, let's say, divide it, uh, the ear would come a little bit below the halfway point, both ears. The nose is right dead center. I'm going to draw a circle for the nose that we will draw. And then the eyes are right above that center line and they're pretty big. And then there is a mouth section that, that is open for, for that. I'm going to continue with the body. And he's got a fat little kind of fat character body, kind of like a teddy bear. Again, stubby little teddy bear legs. Think, think, just think of like a teddy bear torso. And the arms are thicker than the legs. See, I'm going messy, but I'm going dark. Uh, obviously, because this is, a, this is a pen. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have this layer, right? And I'm gonna slide this paper underneath the other paper. And this is regular printing paper, by the way. This is 11, uh, eight and a half by 11 printing paper. Completely normal, completely normal. And see, I can see through it a little bit enough. And I don't know how it looks on camera, but uh, in person here, I can see through it a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my detail on this layer to free up the rest of my mind. So we're gonna go over here into the eye. I'm gonna start with the eyelid. And I'm gonna pull again into kind of that curved round of the eye there, top of the eyelid. The eyeball takes up about half of the entire weight of the eye. Line underneath for the lower eyelid. lower eyelid on, on that side as well. Just kind of the crease under the eye. Finding the pupil of the eye. Leaving a little room for the iris. Bag under the eye. 
going into the nose. The nose is pretty small, we already have it there. It's really relatively small compared to the eye. One nostril, another nostril. The nostrils are actually flared up. And going draw that line in the middle is actually the, the pattern change on Gizmo. Would be the hair pattern change. And since we're not working with color, we have to do that essentially by hand. And I'm trying to keep the lines relatively thin since they are like hair. You know, we're changing like it's it's hair that we're kind of ch uh, changing the form of. So before I finish that, I'm going to go into the mouth. The mouth's gonna pull down. Kind of following the area that I, I did before. He has a bit of a smirk going on, and the mouth, it dips down, and then it dips up toward the center. And then it dips like that as well. Then I draw the rest of the line for underneath. Small hairs here coming out, just kind of showing that the, the hairs are stuck there. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue on on this side and link that, that hair pattern. Do the same thing toward the top. I'm gonna go over here to the other eye and I'm gonna keep the proportion of that eye in mind. that ball form, the ball form of the eye. Have you seen Gremlins before? It's uh, not a very popular, I'll say it is popular, but I understand it's been a lot of time, right? It's been like, it's like an 80s movie. And then it Gremlins 2, and I know they're talking about a new Gremlins, they should make a new one. Um, I think they should make a new one, I think it's about time. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of a thicker line on the eyelid here. Sounds like a cool look. And let's go to the top of his head. Here, throwing more small shapes over here. A little bit more of an eyelid here, like a lower eyelid. Then I'm gonna go to the edge of the fur over here. Edge of the fur over here as well. I'm gonna pull up a little bit. So let's get into the ear. And I'm gonna try to pull that in one stroke. Pulling in, pull down out a little bit, pulling back, 
I'm gonna try to do that a little bit in a faster stroke because it doesn't have any fur uh, on the actual ear. I mean, it has it right here, like kind of where it connects, but on the actual outer portion of the ear, it doesn't really have any any fur, so I can't just do this, you know, and, and, and uh, I have to pull it in like one smooth stroke a lot. Going over here on the other side, now we go to the other ear. A little bit of fur starting out. chunk out there as well. Pulling back into the actual shape here. A little bit of shadow under the that ear area. body so when I draw the body I'm kind of pulling into it almost these strokes I'm drawing these like thin lines uh, that are next to each other and that is so that it'll look like fur it'll kind of give that illusion of fur his hands are just gonna be down um, and also his hands are essentially just little nubs and I'll go over that in a second here He only has three fingers, so, and, but he does have fingernails. Let's go deeper in here, before we go up his arm. We'll take care of the color change in a bit here. There is a color change. Draw his other hand. Again, little nubby fingers. And go down the legs again, furry, furry legs. He has this weird thing that I kind of like actually, I don't like, is that he has his toes sticking out. I think that looks kind of weird. Other than that, it's an awesome, cute little design. It's kind of doing that same fur pattern. So I'm gonna go right here as well, and oops. Go down here to the toes. Sorry, my computer's making weird noises. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm just drawing circles. With a fingernail on it, you know? With toenails on it. So, I'm gonna take the other paper out at this point, so you can see the, the this layer with this layer. Put the other one aside so I can kinda get a little bit more clarity about seeing the under stuff the underneath stuff, so, and I'm gonna go right here and take care of that color change. He has a bit of a color change uh, across his shoulder and actually goes 
around his arm. But try to make it light. The, the color change, you don't want it to be as dark as the outline of the actual uh, character, as the contour of the character. Try to be light. And it's a little bit harder to do it. You know, just kind of like, you're going to have to just lighten up how you're, how you're doing it. Just be careful. This is where pressure sensitivity, right, really matters. And right here in the face, he has a color change as well. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna look around his ear, and I'm gonna draw maybe little creases in his ear. Like, you wanna make him, this is where the, the small detail would be like, his ear would be, I think it was a little bit like, not chewed up, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's organic, so. Uh, maybe little dots along the ridge here. Um, let me draw a little bit of a shadow here underneath. Let's give that little bit of a weight. Not too much though, because it does have a bit of like open bat ears. thicker line on the outer rim of kind of underneath to make it look like it's some ways to do in caricaturing where you know the natural light source would be coming from top to down and so something that would ground the picture would be draw a slightly thicker line either around the entire border of the character or you could draw it toward the bottom of the character to kind of ground it that's kind of like a very typical technique. Well, that's pretty much it for Gizmo. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did enjoy this, give, uh, give this video a like uh, so I know what to add more on this channel. This is technically a Halloween channel, but uh, I want to do like all of horror movies that I used to you know, watch, and I will be active on this channel. Uh, roughly, I'm going to be posted about once a week, once or twice. Um, but that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, do yourself a favor, if you are not on the, um, what was I gonna say? There's a book I have, it is a ebook entirely on how to shade something. So if you're looking at, in terms of like how to shade, that is a great instructional I made for, uh, uh, just for free, for people to download. Uh, thank you so much for the people that already did download it. Uh, people that have gotten a lot of amazing feedback from it and I do appreciate it. Uh, but if you haven't, get it. It's in the comments below. Uh, sorry, in the comments. It's actually in the, uh, it's in the description. Sorry, I'm thinking about this. <laughs> it's in the description below. It, like I said, there's three basic shapes that you need to learn how to shade. And if you can learn to basically shade those three shapes, then you can shade anything in nature. And I kind of go over those shapes. That's pretty much the, the kind of the basics 101. If you're totally new to shading, don't worry about it. That's what it's for. It is for someone that doesn't know anything about shading. Uh, and, and you should be able to shade probably, um, you should be able to apply it right after you read that ebook. It's pretty short, it's about 10 pages. It's very, uh, it's made for like printing out. So if you need to do that, but like I said, it's totally free currently. It might not be free forever. So, but right now it is free and you can have it right this minute. Just go to the link in the description on the top and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate everything. Uh, one other thing, uh, if you wanna follow me closer, uh, you can go on my Patreon. If you donate $1 to my Patreon, you can see all the cool projects that I'm working on, like personally, all these personal commissions that I do, I post them on there only and I never show them to anyone. But that's for $1, you can see all that. And then for $2, there's another uh, extremely important ebook on there, but that's pretty much it. That's the second link. That's all I'm going to talk about. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please comment to me. Uh, let me know what's going on with your drawing development and where I can lead you to kind of like do more of it. 
Uh, but let me know your thoughts in general. I want to know who's actually watching this and who's, you know, who's out there. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next video and I'll talk to you soon.